Chris from Codify Academy here. In this video, we're going to look at some important shortcuts and when to use them. I recommend jotting them down and keeping them in plain view when you're coding. In programming, knowing shortcuts can end up saving you a lot of time. The more that you know, the faster you can develop. Just try to understand them, when they can be useful, and you'll slowly build up a habit. The first shortcut is saving a file. This is going to be by far the most used one. We use Control or Command S at the same time to save a file. You're normally going to do this in your text editors. You can normally tell when there's a circle there that means it's not saved. You should try to get into the habit of saving each file when you finish typing a line of code. And when you have multiple pages open, you need to make sure that you save each page. You should hit Control or Command S so much that you end up saving in the browser sometimes. That's when you know that you have this one down. Next we look at a trio, copy, cut, and paste. Copy is used when you want to make a copy of something. All you need to do is select what you want, Control or Command C to copy it. You can pretty much copy anything anywhere on a computer. Cut is used when you want to move something from one place to another. You can use Control or Command X on something selected and this is going to remove it from its current place. This is useful for moving text, tags, and files around. Again, you can use this pretty much anywhere on a computer. Paste is used, well, when you want to paste something. When you have something copied to your clipboard, this is when you either copy or cut something, then you use Control or Command B to paste anywhere you want. Typically, again, it's going to be used with copy or cut. Next up is undo and redo. These are going to save your life on many occasions. Undo is used just to undo things. You can use either Control or Command Z. This is going to undo the last thing you did. And if you press it again, it's going to undo the thing before that. And again, the thing before that and it keeps going on and on. So if you make a mistake or you want to go back a couple of lines, you can just use this shortcut. And then we have redo. This is the exact opposite. So if you undid something and you want to redo it, you can use Control or Command Y again as many times as you undid. If you type it once, it will redo one time. If you type it again, it's going to redo twice. This shortcut is not limited to a text editor. You can use this in many programs. On occasion, you might need to find some text. You can use Control or Command F to bring up a search window. And then you can just type in whatever you're looking for. There's going to be some arrow keys that you can go up or down with. This shortcut can be used in browsers, text editors, and a lot of other programs as well. The next one is highlighting all text. So normally this works in unison with copying. Uh, sometimes you'll delete, but you'll use Control or Command A to highlight all text in either a browser or text editor usually. And then you'll do like copy or delete afterwards. Okay, now two useful ones for structuring text in your text editor. We have indent and unindent. So this keeps our code nice and readable for us humans. In the reality, computers obviously don't care about spaces. So this is specifically for humans, but we do need to do it. So if we want to indent one line, we can just go to the beginning of that line and press tab, and then it gets pushed over a little bit. If we want to unindent a line, we go to the beginning of that line and use the shortcut shift tab, It'll bring it back a little. Sometimes you need to unindent or indent multiple lines, in which case you can just highlight all the lines you want to move and use the shortcut either shift tab to unindent, or tab to indent. Comments are going to be very useful for your future self and others to be able to read and understand your code easier. We can use control or command forward slash, that's the same key as the question mark, on whatever line that you want to become a comment. You can also uncomment with that same command. For a multiple line comment, you can just highlight the ones you want and you can use the same shortcut to comment or uncomment the code. And our last one. This is going to be a huge time saver for you. Reloading your browser at the top and click the reload button. But instead, just practice using Control or Command R when you're in a browser to refresh the page. This will save you tons of time. Well, that's it for now. Once you start using these shortcuts on a regular basis, there are tons of other ones out there that can help you. So in the future, check out more shortcuts for things like your operating system, text editors, browsers, and anything else that you're interested in.